brothers and sisters of celestial energy, brother wisdom. What's going on, guys? Well, it's early in the day here in the city, and um, looking at some powerful, powerful changes on the planet. Whoa. Okay. All right. So, just want to share some with you. Last night, you know, I'm always scaling through these inorganics uh, system that they created. I'm always scaling through their their systems and finding out all these secrets, looking into their computers and reading the stupid stuff that they want to do. This makes no sense. All the senseless reports and these 5, 10, 15 page reports on one incident and how they have to, I mean, if you all could see some of the stupid things that they write in those reports, you will really be like, are you serious? How many hours did it take them to write this report? And how many times did they go back to it and rewrite and had to filibuster and all kind of craziness? So, as I was scaling through their system, something caused me to stop. And I saw where they found a capsule in Antarctica that told the incident of their species coming to our planet thousands of years ago and we fought against them and we beat them. Now this is what the Egyptian um, or the Kemetic, or how you want to say, the Hyksos. And the Hyksos were fighting for this land that we're on right here, Atlantis. They call the Hyksos, which were, uh, we, they, they call, which we call them that because that's what they were at the time. They were Hyksos. Uh, they were beings from the same universe. And this was uh, probably about 4,000 years ago kind of from the calendar events. So, they found a capsule that told everything and that there will be a second return or a second wave. And this wave that we're in right now is the second wave that uh, when they came back. And it tells of a third wave, but it tells that we will be more powerful when the third wave Comes. So this is the second wave. All right, you had the Hyksos, you had the Neanderthals, all their warriors. Neanderthals are warriors. They were just not um, beings or whatever. They were their warriors. I mean, and um, that's why the Neanderthal bones are found because this is a war that happened on our planet long ago. All right. And the reptilians were really uh, green beings or repti reptile looking beings. There are statues of them. They came down and, and, our, and our folk made statues of them and said, you know, these beings were here. We wrote them on the wall. We put it. So about 4,000 years ago, that was a battle that happened here on the planet with these same beings that we're dealing with. And we wiped them off the planet. And then they came back. But they came back with a force. They came back with some whatever authority that they tried to create. But they, of course, they had to cheat and connive and you know do the things that they usually do. And um, now we got to come with a stronger force. Myself and the other cosmic elders. We have been visiting certain areas of the cosmos, all right, which shall remain secret, will remain secret, but we've got something in store for our, uh, our, our uh, brothers and sisters. We got something in store for them, for you all, and we got something in store for these inorganics, all right? Wanna make sure that I'm not using hate speech. All right, so 
as I went in and scaled through their system some more, uh, what I learned is that they have military units or military bases that are strictly designed to monitor solar activity, the sun, the moon, planets, because they're, they're, they're scared of what you call, what this is what they call the termination event. And they don't know how it's gonna happen, but what they know is that it's going to happen. They call it a termination event. So we're looking at some events that's getting ready to take, care, take place on the planet. Um, I can't talk about it. What's in secret shall remain secret, and it will be exposed when the secret, when 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 uh, uh, everything is done the way it's supposed to be done. Let's just say it that way. All right. And I'm talking too much now. Um. So, just um, pass this on to you all, guys. To all you all, brothers and sisters. This is their second time coming. Then you know when they came back, they came with the Palladians. All right, the Palladians are there. They came back with the Palladians. The first time they came, you know, according to records, the first time they came, they came with a force, and they just came straight out, fighting and battling. All right. This time they came with they came with the Palladians, you know, to try to coax us and and make us think that they're so in peace. We coming in peace, you know. We coming in serenity and joy, and you know and we just want to learn and you know we're not the same and you know it's, it's it's so much you know that they talked about and that that little curve in their voice you know oh, no we come so we come in peace we come in peace you know it's like how they that curve that throw their voice to make you really think so we they came back with the palladians this time then after the palladians they took it up a notch and came with the draconians Draconians are those who they use to uh, uh, study technology. That's what the Dracos do. They, the Draconians study technology, you know. And then after the, after they studied technology with the Draconians, they brought in the uh, the reptilians because the reptilians are the deceivers. All right. Reptilians are the ones who deceive, make you think that you know, hey, you know, I'm your friend, but you know, really, I ain't. You know, then that's after the, the, the reptilians, they brought in the Archons and the Jataris. The Archons and the are, are literally their, um, their battlefront. That's, that's, their, that's literally those who battle for them, who fight for them, who, I mean, you name it, they do it. You know, there's no holes bar dealing with the, um, the Dracon, the um, Archon. Archons and Shataris. Um, then you have um, you have the um, Nakals and the Nordics, which are warriors also. Um, and then you, of course, you have the Zeta Rectulians, which are their space, which is their real space force, the Zeta Rectulians. You know, and, and they try to make it seem like the Zetas are, oh yeah, we call these guys, da 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 da. The Zetas are literally, um, they go on whatever side has the most, uh, or shows the most power. You know, the Zetas one time, one time worked with the Anunnaki brothers, and they, um, they fought with the Anunnaki. But, you know, it's it's just, it goes on and on and on and on and on. So, there is a third wave, and I, and I think I um, reminded you all of that third wave uh, not too long ago when I told you all that, you know, I saw the new beings that they um, created, and these beings... Uh, do not have a face. These beings, um, they have a nose. They have eyes. No mouth. 
Um, and they are very, very violent and volatile. All right. So just <laughs> giving this message to you all. This is what I this is this uh, is, is, you know, what I what I saw. And yet yeah, they're in Antarctica. They're trying to breach the gates. They're trying to get through. They can't get through. They're trying to find somewhere else to go within our planet. And it's not happening. Um, we've got some major things that's getting ready to take place. And they're really, really, really scared. That's why Jeff Bezos is um, pushing this whole agenda about going out of space, which they are the majority of them are already on another planet. But, you know, like I say, they're going to be greatly surprised at what they're going to see very soon. All right. So as uh, right now, we have a golden sun and this is pushing out this delta energy, which is going to, they're talking about the delta variant is pushing out the delta energy, massive amounts of delta energy coming out. The moon is pushing out massive amounts of delta energy. Um, we got to understand delta energy. Delta is a frequency. Um, and, you know, I, I was reading and I, uh, I posted on my Facebook. Um, they said the Delta variant caused the stock market to crash or the stock market to the Dow to drop 800 points. You got to understand that these are frequencies. All right. Everything runs on frequency, even their money. Their money runs on very, very, very low frequencies. Remember, <sighs> Remember I told you guys the, the money, no matter how much money they can have. Um, a hundred million billion. All right. But the, the energy of the money is this, this much right there. That's how much the energy of the money, which means the frequency is extremely, extremely low. So because the Delta frequency is much higher than their frequency, that Delta frequency that's coming from our sun and our moon from both our suns and all three of our moons, because we have three moons and we have two suns and we have, uh, Three suns behind those the our our atmospheric sun. We have three suns behind the atmos atmospheric sun. All right, and they're charging up everything, and they're putting that delta, that they're pushing that delta energy through the sun. All right, that's why you have that's why they're behind the sun because they're feeding our atmospheric sun certain frequencies and certain energies, and these are being controlled by um, very very extremely high. Um, members of the uh, the cosmic uh, uh, council. All right. When I say extremely high members, you you're talking about beings whose masonic order is like some crazy, crazy number, <laughs> like some uh, seven hundred twenty thousand degree masonic order. I mean, some just some crazy, crazy number. You know, and so they're controlling they're doing their part i'm doing my part the other cosmic elders are doing their part and um this delta variant um very soon this delta variant is going to be over and there's going to be very powerful alpha and gamma waves it's going to be a it's going to be a a, a, a twin energy they're going to be alpha and gamma waves coming directly from the sun all right, so you're talking about alpha and gamma waves. These are some powerful um, waves that's going to, that's that's coming from the sun. All right, I'm watching Wages World um, this morning, and say a solar flare hit the the uh, International Space Station. I was like, ha ha ha, y'all ain't seen nothing yet. Oh, I swear, my name is Seema Bathure. I knew I am a cosmic uh, prince. Chimerian and Naki. All right. I am the most high uh, being on this planet right now at this present moment. I am an 810 degree Mason. I am no joke. I don't brag on it. All right. But I'll just let them let them know. So this is uh, what we're dealing with right now. We're dealing with some um, very powerful energy on the planet. Our sun is a weapon, all right? And very soon, the brothers and sisters, uh, the original brothers and sisters of this world will know how to use the sun, um, the, the energy of the sun as a weapon, especially when our sun begins to push out alpha and gamma waves, all right? 
Um, <laughs> you know, they don't, you know, for, for our brothers and sisters who are out here spreading this paraphernalia that these inorganic beings are controlling the moon, there are some complete fools. I'm going to tell you this right now. There are some absolute fools. They're the most foolish beings ever. They don't understand who controls the moon and how it operates. These beings, these inorganic beings don't understand, understand, understand how the sun, who operates the sun, how this, you know, they don't, they, they will never know. It's not meant for them to know what, what is in secret will remain secret, you know. So, um, you just have to understand that um, we're looking at some very perilous times that's going to come to the planet because a lot of our brothers and sisters are going are, are, are going to be lost in the sauce. For um, in, in the least way to say it, those who refuse to wake up now, but this golden energy is coming down. The Delta variant is 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 emitting pure golden energy to the planet. All right, so we're watching a lot of changes, you know, and I need you guys to really keep up with what's going on. You know, I'm trying to give you some cosmic information, cosmic news, whatever, and this will be a, what you call a cosmic update. Um, but yeah, um, I every every so often I go through their system. Yeah, their money system is horrible right now. No matter what they tell you, I, I went into their system and saw all of their monies or whatever, and they don't have a banking system. They're, they're literally moving off of a printing system. I mean, they're printing every day, and I, and I saw the system. Their, their, their bank, as far as the bank is concerned, like they used to depend on the World Bank, it's got zero dollars in it. Literally, it has zero dollars. So they're depending on printing money or creating digital currency every day just so that everyone can think that they're living this normal life, which they're not living in this normal life at all. All right. Because the right frequency that hits the planet will destroy their their entire infrastructure that they created. And we got we got alpha and gamma uh, uh, gamma frequencies to soon engulf the planet and we're going to watch things just happen just rapidly right now they're uh scared they're talking about lake mead how it's dropped even more um and lake mead supplies um electricity and water to millions of uh of, of, of uh, beings in that area uh lake mead um is what is runs the hoover dam um, the dams will be broken. The dams will crumble and fall. Uh, there will no longer be any more dams on the planet. All right. Um, there will, there will be, you know, there will, you know, the, the dam in China is already uh, broken. It's already busted up. It's, it's done. All right. You know, they're looking at Yellowstone. They're looking at a whole lot of things and, and we'll, we're literally, controlling all of this you know and they don't they're like well you know we don't understand you don't understand of course you don't understand it's not meant for you to understand but just know that there are those who are controlling everything and we're going to get these non-inorganic beings off the planet you know this is what we're going to do you know just how it's going to this is just how it's going to work so uh just pass this on to you all um i'm working on a higher level right now um, I've got a few things I got to do. Uh, north, south, east, west is wide open right now. North, south, east, west is wide open. I, that's all I can say. I'm not going to say anymore. Uh, it's a lot of things that's given to take place on the planet. And um, we're operating on a multi dimensional, multi frequency, uh, uh, multi uh, consistent. Um, powers right now. All right, so <laughs> that's a lot. That's a whole lot going on. So I pass this on to y'all right now. You know, uh, like I said, it's a lot going on, but you know, there will be a third wave. But we're gonna make sure that that third wave really, really get hit hard because we're not gonna be the same beings that we are now. Just like we're not our ancestors from the first wave. All right, we're not our ancestors from the first wave. 
all right and well the uh and 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 the second wave we're not our ancestors from the second wave better yet the first wave we slaughtered those jokers the second wave that came here you know a lot of you know they figured out a lot of things and they they destroyed a lot of things and and we're not our ancestors from the second wave all right we're we're turning into the, the most powerful warriors because we're tapping into the inner, inner energy and right now we have a golden sun that's emitting uh extremely powerful delta waves and the alpha and gamma waves will soon be emitted from the sun and this is really going to tear this entire system to pieces and you're going to watch things just fall and crumble and like we said when they leave here when we when they we finally get them off our planet we're going to have all these buildings left over that we're going to have to literally tear down all these buildings you know the walmarts the fords the gms the all this i mean and, and even their own people are are, uh, f uh, are fighting against them because this Delta variant is causing their people to fight against their own. Very soon, they're going to leave us alone. They're going to be fighting among themselves. All right, which we're going to have to stop fighting among ourselves because right now their own their own people just uh, uh, burnt down the Rothschild Bank over there. I don't know if anyone saw it, but their own people burnt down the Rothschild Bank. So their own people, the Delta, this Delta uh, 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 waves of Delta frequency coming from the planet is doing a, is doing a, a major number. Y'all keep your eyes open. Y'all keep your ears open. And remember, learn to see with your ears and hear with your eyes. This is how you literally see everything in the spirit realm. Learn to see with your ears and hear with your eyes. Okay, passes on to you all. Glad to be with you this early day. And as usual, all power to the multi chakra celestial angelic beings. May chaos reign with you forever and ever. Much power to you all.